everybody. What's going on? Whew. Today is January 2nd of 2022. And if I'm filming, there's got to be a reason, right? Because I don't do these often. I haven't done it in a long time. So, for those of you who have followed my social media for a while, excuse me, to those who may be new, um, as you know, I am a competitive natural bodybuilder. Um, started my career back in 2012 when I won my pro cards with the USBF and the DFAC. And then came back in 2014, took second in a pro show, took first in my class in an OCB bodybuilding show and second overall in that show. Came back in 2018, won my first time as a pro in an AMDF show, went back to the OCB, won the open and the overall to become OCB pro. And after that, and during that journey, actually, let me not skip too far ahead. I had a minor health scare where I had some wonky blood work. Um, if you don't know what went on, please go back to my previous videos on my YouTube channel. I kind of give a description of what that diagnosis was. And then at the end of 2018, I tore this bicep and needed surgery. So um, 2019, at least the first six months, was a very slow rehab process where I was losing my goddamn mind, trying to just get my arm back, and the doctors were just moving me so slowly. I'm not saying they were wrong for doing that. There was probably a reason, but just my mentality is I'm a rehab guy. I want to get healthy, fast, and move. But obviously, because of the surgery, there's things that need to heal, and it takes a little bit longer. And somewhere around in that 2019 journey, after I got clearance from my rehab, I kind of stopped filming. Um, my biggest thing with social media is it's hard for me to constantly like film content because I don't come up with things that creatively and I don't feel like writing it out on a calendar either about what to talk about. And I just really focused from June of 2019 uh, to December of 2019, like really just trying to get myself somewhat back to where I was. And I did a pretty good job in six months. I got a lot of strength back. I got a lot of my size back, whatnot. Thankfully, I bounced back pretty quickly. Um, 2020. COVID hits March of 2020 and shuts everything down, like gyms and everything. So thankfully, as you know, I've had a home gym for a long time, which mainly consisted of power rack and dumbbells. Um, did what I could thinking that gyms were going to come back. You know, I thought all oh, this was going to be done in two to three months and things were going to kind of reopen and they didn't. Um, so I started to expand the home gym. As you see some more of the equipment in the back, I've got some more off to this side as well. Um, so that... My wife and I can continue our training. I can continue my bodybuilding and, and growing and training the way I wanted to. Um, Cause I did have a good enough amount of equipment, but I felt kind of limited and it got kind of monotonous. So expanded my home gym in 2020 um, and really tried to get myself, uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Expanded it in 2020. Sorry. I'm losing my mind. I'm getting confused with all the dates. Um, and then 2021, I was kind of like in this limbo where, I got my arm back, which you can say it's in really good shape. It's not deformed. Um, got a lot, got like almost all the size back of my arm. But 2021 was like, where do I go now? I didn't really have any motivation. Um, I wasn't wearing a mask in the gym. So I'm like, what do I do? Um, and then said, okay, listen, I'm going to, I'm really going to double down here and do more than I've ever done in my off seasons previous and see where this takes me. Um, and decided that I was going to start pushing food harder, but smart, um, and change up my training style a little bit and see where it took me. So 2021 was a year of where I was afraid to get over 300 grams of carbs. I've gotten up to 460 grams of carbs a day. Um, I went all the way up to 212, 213 pounds at the top of that bulk. Um, it just got really uncomfortable for a while there, but it was necessary. And I wasn't like over overweight by any means. I was still relatively lean, but it was just the amount of volume of food was just killing me. Um, and then towards the end of 21, leading into the holidays, which is weird, start to mini cut a little bit. Um, and I'm now down at 203. Um, but I've now brought food back up to 440 grams of carbs a day, which for me is massive because I've never been able to do this before. Um, and I'm maintaining around 203 pounds worth of body weight. So as you can see, you know, I'm still relatively lean. I look good. Uh, feel good, recovery is good. Um, with that being said, 
I've always, you know, after the 2018 season, I was always debating if I was going to come back. Um, I worked so hard to get the arm back. Um, I've always wanted to kind of like compete one more time that um, it's official. Uh, I am coming back for one last run. Uh, I'm currently 40 years old. In March, I'll be 41. I want to make one last run. And these goals are quite lofty. Um, and they scare the hell out of me. Now, I have done very well in a short amount of time in my natural bodybuilding career. Um, you know, as I mentioned, I, I've won pro cards, I've won shows, I've won classes, right? Um, but those were not small shows by any means, but they were local. So it's kind of confined to most people from the geographic area of New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania type of thing. But there's some people that come from the outside. Um, I want to go big. I want to go really big. I want to compete against pros all across the country um, and just see how I stack up. Um, so in order to do that, whew, and, I, and I need to do this. Like, as you can see, I'm like, I'm nervous. Like my heart right now is, since I've decided to do this, is like kind of jittery. Um, I need to prove to myself or at least see where I stack up. I do not think I'm an elite bodybuilder. I think I'm pretty good, maybe slightly above average. Um, obviously legs are a weak point, which I've done a lot of work on to bring them up. They have come up. I'm still not satisfied with them, but considering where I started to where they are now and the issues that I have to deal with, uh, I'm pretty proud of the work I've put into them. Um, but I need to see where I stack up and I don't want to live in a what if society. Um, I want to get these what ifs out of my way. So later in life, I can say I did it regardless of the outcome. Um, and I don't have to worry about regret or what if. So let me get back to where we're starting here. Um, I am aiming for a show in August, which will be down in Baltimore, Maryland with the OCV. It's a, it's a qualifier, which means I have to go down there and place top five in my class. And if I do that, I will qualify for the OCB Yorton Cup, which is like one of the natty Super Bowls or Olympias or whatever you want to put it. It's up there. Um, and so my goal is to go down to Baltimore and obviously I'd love to win. Um, but I am going to try to qualify for Jordan. Let me speak this into existence. I will qualify for Jordan. Okay. Because if I start going, if I'm going to start doubting myself when I qualify for Jordan, I would love to go down to the Jordan and just place. Well, I'm not expecting to win. But obviously, I'm going to put all of my effort into it to qualify for Yorton. Um, and then when that's done, my final show, which Yorton's in Charlotte, North Carolina in September. My final show, and I'm saying final show, um, I truly believe this is going to be my last run. I don't know if I can diet like this anymore. Um, I don't think my wife's going to let me do it anymore. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Um, and this is going to be quite expensive with the travel and the hotels and everything else that I need to do. Um, I am going to do Mr. America in Atlantic City at Showboat in October. Um, I love that show. I love what it represents. I also love the fact that I think it's Mark um, gets this on TV on CBS Sports Network. So if you haven't seen it, they have done that before. It's not necessarily played live, but it's played after fact. And I think it's just great exposure for natural bodybuilding to get us on the map, which I think we need the exposure. Um, and that's where this is all going to go. And I'm hoping that my son, who will be six this year, um, is going to actually get to see me to some degree compete on stage so he can see what his father does. Um, let me be completely honest. This terrifies me. Um, almost as much, if not more, than the first time I competed in 2012. Um, as you know, when I compete, I take it very, very seriously. I want to win. I want to bring my best package. I do not want to walk up there and be humiliated. Um, I want to represent myself well. I will just, that's just who I am. Um, so to go on stage knowing at the level of competition I'm going to be competing at is quite terrifying for sure. Um, but I, I really, like I mentioned, I need to do this for me. I need to find out where I stack up. I need to get rid of this. What if over my shoulder? Um, it's an idea I've played with for a long time. Um, 
And after my arm injury, I didn't know if that was going to be a possibility. But thankfully, um, my arm did come back. I have, in my opinion, made some great advancements in my physique overall. Um, and I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm scared, but I'm also excited to step up to the challenge, get on that stage, um, hit all my poses, show what I've got, and let the chips fall where they may. And uh, after that, my, yeah, my, my competitive days will be over. Um, it's not going to stop me from still training like a bodybuilder. It's still not going to stop me from always trying to make advances in my physique. That's never going to change. I am going to train like this until I no longer can. Um, and when I no longer can, I'll probably be dead. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not always going to be this big. I'm always not going to be this muscular as I get older. Um, but I am going to give it everything I got and uh, hang up the trunks after that. I'm still going to coach. Uh, I'm still going to assist people with either competing or um, general population who just want to improve their overall body composition um, and support natural bodybuilding from now until the day I die um, and try to be an inspiration and a beacon for others to show them that there is a way to build a phenomenal physique without having to take any shortcuts, um, steroids, PEDs, SARMs, any other over-the-counter crap that's going to get caught in the future. Um, and know that if they put in the work they can get there, guys or girls, I look forward to that. Um, but I'm going to film this journey the entire way um, and kind of let you see how this prep is going to go. Um, I'll talk about my workouts, I'll talk about my coach, I'll talk about my macros, I'll talk about all of it. Um, so this is my announcement that I'm coming back in 2022. And uh, wish me the best of luck. Here's the quick status update, and I'll probably attach it to the end of this video. I am starting at 203 pounds, hoping to come down into the 170s this year um, versus the 160s that I did in 2018. So, guys, I appreciate any support you give me along the way, um, and wish you the best luck.